Part A, final x coordinates at which f has a relative maximum. Give a reason for your answer. So here we got x equals negative 2. Would you like to know why? So this is the graph of the derivative. So when, at, when the y value is plus, that means there's a positive in, the, in f. So if you look at this little graph here, so right here, you have positive slope values, so right, positive slope values, and then negative 2, it reaches 0. So you got a, got a maximum and then negative slope values. Your negative. Part B. At what open intervals contained in negative 3 to x to 4 is a graph of f both concave and decreasing? Give you a reason for your answer. Well, you see, what we're working with here is we're going to derive these two number, line he number lines here. This one signifying the derivative graph and the, its slopes. This one signifying the derivative of the derivatives graph and its values, the slope values rather. And so here we can see uh, according to the derivative number line here, it is positive up until negative two where it goes under the graph, which we can clearly see from right here. Here it goes negative doesn't come back to positive at all that we can see. But, so that tells us that this graph is increasing, decreasing, I misspoke. It is decreasing <laughs> when it is negative here, obviously. So we can tell other than right here in the beginning, it's decreasing for the, for throughout. And now the second parameter is it has to be concave down. And so concave down would be a negative second derivative. And so here we can see it's negative here, but wait, not negative here. So we can go to the next point, negative 2 to negative 1, negative here, negative here. There we go. That's one range. Positive up here, not concave up, concave up, until you get to 1, negative on both sides also concave down and decreasing there. So that gives us our answer, negative 2 to negative 1, should be a comma there, In union with 1 to 3. There's a comma there. Part C. Find the x-coordinates of all points of inflection for the graph of f. Give a reason for your answer. Alright, so here, by looking at the graph, we can see there is zero slopes, or a slope of zero, at negative one, one, got this high tech marker, and three. <laughs> Boom. So, knowing that, we then go back to our handy number line here of the graph of the second derivative and we can see that at points 1, negative 1, 1, and 3 the slope changes from negative to positive and this coupled with the zero slopes on the graph we can, we can then conclude that the points of inflection for this graph would be indeed be at negative 1, 1, and 3. Okay. Given that the f of 1 is 3, write an expression for the f of x that involves the integral. 
Find the f of 4 and the f of negative 2. Alright, so given the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus here, we got f of x minus f of 1 equals the integral from 1 to x of f prime of t dt. So with that, we can use to find an expression for f of x. So we got f of x equals the integral from 1 to x of f prime of t plus f prime of 1. And from the given, we know that f prime of 1 is 3, so our equation is f prime of x. I'm, I'm sorry, f, f of x equals the integral from 1 to x of f prime of t dt plus 3. So that is f prime of x. So to ask for f prime of 4, it's simple. You just plug 4 in for x. So, and from the given, from the initial problem, you know that f prime of 4 is, uh, I mean, the integral from 1 to 4 is 12. But since it tells you it the other way, you have to make it negative. So you get negative 12 plus 3 equals negative 9. And lastly, for f of negative 2, you do the same thing you did for, ne for negative 4, for positive 4, my bad. And then you get, you have to, you have to reverse it because you have from 1 to negative 2, and you switch that to get, to get it from 1 to 2, negative 2, my bad. From negative 2 to 1, you get a negative. <laughs> Guest appearance by my dog there, thanks. So you get the integral, the negative integral from negative 2 to 1 of f of, f prime of t dt plus 3. And then you plug in the, the negative 2, and then you get nine, negative 9, which becomes negative because you have to flip it because of how it tells you in the first given. Then you get f of negative 2 equals 12.